Hello, it's Paulie with Slaughter Food Creations, and our recipe today is stuffed butternut squash. This is a vegan recipe, and it's a Puerto Rican stuffing, and I'll show you how to get it done. So here we go. We've got uh, our butternut squash, and I've already cut it in half here, and I hollowed out some more of the inside. But what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and season this and get it in the oven. Just uh, lightly salt it like so. And then we're going to get it in the oven at uh, 400 degrees and then we're going to let it go for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, we got our oven here at 400. They're going in. They're going to roast, like I said, for about... 20 to 30 minutes and we'll get back into it all right while our butternut squash is finishing up in the oven we're going to go ahead and get our stuffing stuffing started and i've got two tablespoons of olive oil in the pan here i'm going to add a cup of jasmine rice to it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to get all the grains of rice coated with the oil and it's on medium low to medium heat here currently and what we're gonna do is get this uh, get this all coated with oil and then we're gonna toast it essentially so we want to get a nice light brown look on the outside of our uh, rice here so we'll get back to it here in a minute okay I've been uh, checking our rice here and stirring it occasionally but it's starting to get a nice uh, toasted brown look on the outside. You don't want to burn it obviously, but you just want a nice lightly brown toast on it. And once you got that going, I'm going to add some uh, uh, small minced shallot to that. Start sweating those down a little bit. like so okay I've got those mixed in there a little bit there's a little they released some uh, liquid so you can hear it sizzling there and to that we'll go ahead and add our tomato paste I'm gonna add about uh, just a tablespoon today just enough to give it a little Added depth to flavor. Mix that around. Let it continue to toast up there. Okay, I've got our tomato paste in there. So I'm going to go ahead. And at this point, I've got uh, a little garlic. It's about uh, one large clove of garlic. Let that go for about 30 seconds. Got our garlic in there, it's smelling nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a cup of filtered water at this point. And then get our seasonings in there. It'll just be a second. Okay, we're gonna add a little kosher salt. I got a pinch, pinch and a half, something like so. You add some black pepper. I don't know, about a half a teaspoon, I guess. Same with like uh, cumin here and oregano. And then I have a packet of seasoning here. It's called Sazon. It's uh, got uh, achiote and other herbs and spices, but it's mainly to add uh, a yellowish type color to it. It adds some flavor, but 
It adds uh, the color to it. Gives it almost like a yellow color. We'll go ahead and give that a mix. And since I'm using a, making a stuffing here for our butternut squash, I am going to add one can of fire roasted diced tomato, liquid and all. And I've got a can of rinsed organic black beans. I don't want the liquid in this case, so I rinse them. I'm also going to add two more finishing touches here. I've got a jalapeno seeds and all for heat. And some green olives, about 15 or 20, and I've cut them in half. And have those, and I'm going to add those to this as well. This is going to be kind of like a Puerto Rican style rice mixture here with the added green olive and such. But we'll go ahead and give this a mix, make sure it gets back up to a boil, and then we will cover it and let it sit for about 15-20 minutes until the rice is cooked through. So let's get this up to a boil. Okay, my mix here is bubbling, so I am going to go ahead and put a lid on it, and we're going to let it rest here at low medium to low heat for a little bit and then I'm gonna kill the heat um, it takes about 15 20 minutes total um, and I'll even check it uh, at 15 20 minutes to make sure okay it's been about 30 40 minutes I, I would say so I'm gonna go ahead and pull my butternut squash out here so we can see what it looks like and it looks nice. I just wanted to pre-cook those, get them nice and ready for our stuffing. But there you go. It's roasted butternut squash ready for our filling, which will be done any minute. Okay, so our rice mixture is done. And I'm going to go ahead and, and what I'm going to do is fill one of these. Butternut squash, fill the cavity here, like so. And then I'm going to get them back in the oven for another 15 20 minutes just to finish off. And we'll be done, we'll be ready to serve. So we got our, I'm going to go ahead and fill up the last one here and then get it back in the oven. We'll be ready to eat this. So this is the final product. Our stuffed butternut squash with Puerto Rican rice. And this is a uh, vegan recipe as well. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.